Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pass through a Bluetooth device uh, into your macOS VM. So, um, I've got a Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi combo card, it's a PCIe card, uh, the Fen V1, uh, which is on uh, screen right now. It's the FV-HB1200 uh, wireless card uh, that goes into one of your PCIe 1X slots. So, you can see that there's a wire coming off of that. That is the Bluetooth pair. So the Bluetooth device shows up as a um, USB device. The actual wireless uh, card shows up as a PCI device in Proxmox. So uh, basically, we're going to need a few things. If you've not watched my uh, last video on the Wi-Fi one, it's in the description below. Um, and basically, you're going to need to make sure that you're on kernel version 5. So to check this, you can go over to your Proxmox web interface and you can check that you're on version 5. So you can see here it says Linux 5.15.53-1-PVE that is kernel version 5.15.53 uh, which is the one that I need to be on for it to work. Um, version 6.2 uh, doesn't currently work uh, so just bear that in mind when you are actually um, setting this up as it doesn't work. Also, we can't get uh, Wi-Fi cards from the FenVR Broadcom uh, manufacturers uh, working in Sonoma at the moment, so just please do note that. Anyway, let's actually get on to passing through the Bluetooth device. So, uh, all we need to do is go to a Proxbox web interface, go to the VM that we want to pass it through to, making sure that we power it off first, which I'm going to do, obviously. So, you just obviously do file, shut down. There we go. Um, I'm just using any desk to actually record this at the moment. Um, but yeah, once it's shut down, um, we'll be able to see with the uh, obviously the summary page. Once it's shut down and the status is stopped, uh, you can go to hardware, add, USB device, and then depending on the uh, macOS version, uh, depends on the option that you select here. But every time I want to click use USB port. You can then find your right uh, USB device. Mine's called Bluetooth USB Host Controller. So this is brilliant. Um, it's a great card. This it shows up as an Apple Link manufacturer too. If you're on Ventura, you want to tick use USB three. If you're on Monterey or earlier, uh, please untick that. If I do that and click Add, start up the virtual machine again. Uh, we should now get a uh, Bluetooth device plugged in. So you can see we're back on the macOS desktop now. Uh, if I go to about this Mac just to verify that uh, everything's uh, working. So you can see I've got my RX570 uh, pass through, um, stuff like that. I've got the iMac Pro SMBIOS, but it will work in any SMBIOS, I think. If we go to system settings now, we should see a Bluetooth option. You can see it's searching for nearby devices. So all I'm going to do is actually grab a USB device to test. So right now I'm going on to the Bluetooth part on my iPhone uh, and we should see that the device should pop up soon. You can see that I have his iPhone and it's just popped up. Uh, it's not real use but you can see that it's detecting devices. And also on my phone I can see Harvey's iMac Pro. Um, so that's brilliant. Um, so let's see if handoff works. Um, handoff won't work without the Apple ID signing in so We'll just try AirDrop. So I need to enable AirDrop by going up to Control Center. AirDrop and then turning that on for everyone. So you need to um, sign into iCloud for the contacts only. But if I click everyone, we should get an AirDrop. So if I just send a picture over, uh, it can be any picture. We'll see if AirDrop works. So the device is showing up in AirDrop. You can see it's saying that Harvey's iPhone would like to share a photo. So we'll click accept, save to download. There we go, it's sent. I'm running this iOS 17 beta by the way on my phone, so it works fine like that. And as you can see, it's right here and it works just fine, um, which is brilliant. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy uh, this video. Uh, if you did, please do leave a like and consider subscribing as we are really, really close to 4,000 subscribers. 
If you do need any help with this, visit the Discord, which is linked in the description, and create a help post, and our team will gladly help you. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. Goodbye.